Xterra family, this is Evan Party. I'm a professional Xterra triathlete and I've been racing in the pro field for two years. I'm also a professional classical musician finishing my doctorate in musical arts at Arizona State University. I've been playing bass for 15 years and I'm here to talk about some of the mindset similarities between Xterra triathlon and music. Mindset is such an important subject because it's at the core of everything we do when either we're playing an instrument or racing. The two mindsets that we use in triathlon as well as in musical performance are the training mindset and the performance mindset. The training mindset is one in which we're very judgmental about what we're doing, assessing errors, and trying to fix them. For example, on a mountain bike ride, if you mess up a corner, maybe you go back and session it a few times. Just like in music, we sit there and practice to get the exact right notes, the similar idea has to be applied for our training mindset in triathlon. Go back and adjust. In contrast to this is the performance mindset. This is a non-judgmental mindset where we're always trying to be forward thinking, flow through any errors. It's okay to accept that they happen, but don't dwell on them. We're not judging, we're not fixing problems while we're racing or performing. We're just simply going through and flowing through those issues. To have the right training mindset, one needs to really be critical of every action that one's doing. This doesn't have to mean beating yourself up, but it does mean thinking about every small motion that you're doing. This allows you to grow and develop. So be critical of your, your swim stroke, what your running form is like, your bike handling, but also acknowledge that you have a long way to go in each issue and work through them. The correct performance mindset and the way to achieve it is a simply focusing on flow state, not looking at any of your errors as bad, acknowledging they exist, and move forward through them. The performing mindset needs to be calm and collected, but also acknowledging that it has a goal at the end. It's important to be aware of these two so we don't infiltrate the performance mindset with the training mindset. It would be crippling in a race to stop and judge each corner. You wouldn't get off your bike if you messed up. But if you start dwelling about those issues in your head, you might end up going slower than you're thinking. Separating the two out is hugely important to having a successful race. Remember, training and performance mindsets are critical to performance and keeping them separate.